Hi guys, what's up? Good morning. Probably not the morning when you're watching it, but it's early morning to me. Welcome back to another vlog. Welcome to my channel. If you know my channel, Hama Kangsha. So in this um, vlog, um, today is a big day for me basically, and I wanted to um, vlog it. Today is a big day and a very long day. It's uh, seven thirty, I think, in the morning, and I have a lot of things to do, a lot of things, a lot of places to be today, and I'm super uh, excited. I just wish this to. Stupid crow stops crowing. I hate that noise every time I'm vlogging only. <laughs> wow, what a start to my day. But let's go. Um, what I I fucking I hate this because I lose my train of thought when this uh, stupid crow starts. I don't have anything to say. Anyways, welcome to my vlog. I just got done taking bath. I need to head out, but I quickly thought I'll tell you guys about the, uh, the few of my body favorites or body care favorites lately. So the first one in the shower, I've been using the one percent salicylic acid uh, daily exfoliating body wash. Now, if you don't know what salicylic acid is, a salicylic acid is basically a BHA. So especially if you have, if you're somebody who's suffering with body acne and stuff like that, this product will be really useful because BHA kind of cleanses your skin throughout, like from on the inside out which is really nice and it also has glycolic acid and pentamine in it as well so like it does like surface cleaning as well so this kind of just keeps my skin in check so i don't use it for body acne but i use it for like you know to get rid of like ingrown hair or make sure that i don't have like ingrown hair and ingrown hair that generally just happens because you don't kind of like you know exfoliate your skin so there's like dead skin over it and then the hair comes and there's dead skin there so the hair can't come out so there's a lot of ingrown which is there so i like exfoliating my body to keep that ingrown hair in check and especially because I have really thick hair I have a lot of ingrowns which happens so like this body wash keeps in check with that and I've also been following up with, with the body lotion and that's why I'm thinking this guy is not coming what happened hello next again for like body lotion I have this 1% salicylic acid body serum and uh, lotion of this one I've spoken about before so the body wash is just like an add-on so again this also has salicylic acid and glycolic acid it also has zinc PCA which like anti-inflammatory as well now you don't have to use them together I would use either or 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 you can use both if you have really like bumpy acne skin um, now I kind of switch between these two when I like sometimes I use both sometimes I use one of them like it really depends on what my skin is uh, needing at that point but both do a really good job in keeping your skin in body skin in check like so that you don't have like extra dead skin lying and all a lot of people I know if you've not noticed it like they have this rough uh, a thick layer of white skin and that usually only happens when you don't nourish yourself and don't, you don't exfoliate properly so this kind of like you know keeps your um, skin in check so if you're interested in checking these products out then you can definitely check out the link in the description box I also have a code with them which I will read right here and every single sale which is made through Dermaco uh, you are helping towards a child's education and they are determined to help at least 10,000 plus students this year which is really amazing so if you're interested definitely check out the link in the description if you're looking for like good body care exfoliating kind of um, you know products I think they do a really good job and of course again they're fake fragrance free so even if you have sensitive skin um, you don't have to really worry now that being said I think Moon already understood that I'm going because there's like a bag and all between and he's been acting so crazy so I just like let it go I'm actually headed out somewhere guess where can you guess can you guess surprise surprise Bombay uh, but yeah I'm on the way to Bombay um, I'm actually headed out for the 82 degrees east which is Dipika Bhargavan's um, 
like a brand event, especially a skincare line which they recently launched and they have an event now. I think their pro new product launch also is happening today. So um, I'm going there. I um, It's like 9 o'clock in the morning. I have a flight at 11 o'clock. My dad is here. He's dropping me to the airport. Okay, so since it's Deepika Padukone brand and obviously she's going to be there. So I'm going to meet her today. I really adore her. I feel like she's an amazing actress and I always like, you know, if the Deepika's movie I generally watch. I'm pretty excited to meet her. She's one of the, I think, the most like famous actress that I will like meet till date. So I'm super excited. I also have like a slot time with her where I can shoot with her, which I'm so much more excited for. Um, I mean, you can see like I'm pretty really like you know, it's kind of really cool, right? Uh, so yeah, I have a long day. Fun fact about me, well maybe not like fun, <laughs> but a fact, I love the original place from Crispy Ken, but I only eat it when I come to the airport because otherwise it's like a too much effort, like if I'm having it at the airport it's just like fine, so most of the times I come, whenever I come to the airport like I have this one, it just melts in your mouth, so good, I don't think otherwise, I never went to a store and bought the dinner. Like and I don't think once in my life also I got through security in the Hyderabad airport without like my bag to the other side. Every single time like something gets like stuck in my bag. I remove everything outside but still there's something and then put my bag that side. I cannot go to the entire security. It is ridiculous. Oh my god you guys, since the last time I spoke to you, like literally this is such a, it just took so much turn for all the excitement I had, like literally this is so, I really, I really like, I don't wanna like, I literally, I was about to, Are you what you want? I was about to cry, you know, that I might miss the event because the hotel I actually, so, I land at like 12.50 okay and then the event is at, is at 3 so I don't want to get dressed from home and come and they did not give a stay because I'm flying back like tonight only and I needed some place to change initially I thought like I'll reach like 2 o'clock so I thought I'll just change in the airport but then I was like I'll need some time to post the event also maybe so I booked a hotel and that hotel apparently the payment didn't go through and that was not booked and I was I went there first of all it was some random hotel okay I, it looked very different online and i went there it is not available I, I i wanted to book another and this literally everything is sold out and the event is in bkc so i can't go like very far to stay as well and bkc is shit expensive like if you want like a proper hotel they're usually star hotels and they're like twenty thousand per night so i'm like figuring shit out and then i came out on the road like literally i couldn't get the auto for like 20 25 minutes not uber no ola no like the local ones everybody was rejecting me finally i got this hotel i don't know what is this also just like it's some random thing at this point i wanted basically to film a nice like get ready with me and shit but i'm getting so late and um i just don't know man like i it's so many other things i like oh was to reach the hotel by one it's 2 30 can you imagine like one and a half hour was just me like figuring things out and nothing working out this i don't know like oh my god something like there was a address missing there was a walking thing like there was something or the other going on with all my like you know the entire thing from i really need to like get my mood right because i don't know i just got pretty mad and at the same time it was like working also it, it's just like uh, and, uh, and the most stupidest thing, they arranged a commute for me from the airport, which is obviously so obvious because they flew me down. I don't know why my stupid brain missed it. And then I took my own cab and left, and the number which they had <laughs> was off, and they've been trying to communicate with me. I'm telling you, today has just like took so many different turns, and uh, yeah, all I need now to like is just change and leave i think i can reach the event on time probably i'll be like 20 25 minutes late but anyways events don't start on time so that is fine this is the hotel it literally is this much only the hotel there's no window there's no lighting or anything for me to even like 
try to shoot. I'm not carrying any light also for me to shoot. Okay, my makeup is done. Uh, time to put on the outfit. I just did something very basic for uh, the makeup. So for the outfit also, it's actually kind of... So the memo or like the thing they said was like wear something uh, comfy and especially like, they said floor seating. So of course I had to like wear something which is pants and stuff. And uh, recently I got um, this very like neutral colored quad set. Now I feel like it'll be too basic because I'm also going to get an opportunity to shoot with her like I told you or I, I don't know if I told you or not yet. And um, like the concept I gave now kind of changed and I want to do a transition but I feel like this is too basic. I actually prepared for like another concept which I had and I thought like outfit and makeup does not make, make big difference for that. So, but now I'm left with this outfit and this makeup and I have to make it work somehow. But I think it's, I mean, it's cool. Like the outfit is really cool, very comfy. Like they said comfy, so I took it to the like next level. But now I feel like it'll be like too basic, but you know, it's, you can't, like I can't literally like do anything about it. This is literally the only outfit I bought and I have no other time to like go shop or anything. I, I found out in the flight that I'm actually supposed to like do like a transition instead of like the video concept which I gave. So, like it's too neutral man, like too, it's so cool though, like I like it but I'm like, hmm. See, like this literally looks like my mom and dad both loved when I uh, wore this. But I was like, it actually looks nice. But now I'm like rethinking my decision. But it does not matter because I have nothing else to wear. So stupid I am. I dress so well generally for like normal going out and stuff. I don't know why I felt like now I, hmm, I can't do anything. It's just I feel like now I start overthinking everything after all that mess. Um, but literally like now I don't have anything else to wear also. So I have this belt from, so I have this belt though and uh, now I want to like see if I can actually wear this. Belt doesn't look good. Chain and earrings. Okay, this is the outfit you guys. There's literally like no full mirror for you me to like show you the outfit as well. But yeah, I'm ready. I'm heading out. I'm now excited. I, I don't want to be in a bad mood. Um, I don't want to dwell on it. But yeah, I'm also checking out from this hotel uh, because honestly, there's no point. I don't want to come back here. I probably, it's better I go stay in the airport than stay in this hotel. My cab is here. It's only two minutes away. So let's go. You can see the color better now than that stupid hotel room. So basically the invite they sent also was very like that neutral toned one. So that's why I thought it will be apt. I, I like it. Now let's see how the transition or like the video I'm going to shoot turns out. Skincare was, is and will continue to be an extremely important part of my self-care ritual. Um, you know, those moments to yourself in the morning or in the evening. So she's going to share the moment not just with the creators in the room but her entire Instagram audience. So I'm going to go oh. right <laughs> And I'm going to do this um, not just for uh, my community online but also with all of you and vice versa. Um, we have just launched Bakuchi All Slip which is a luxurious but lightweight face oil. Um, it is, I know you're not supposed to have like, hi everyone. I know you're not supposed to have like one favorite child, but this is one of my most favorite products. Um, it is, I know you're not supposed to have <laughs> Sometimes my skin just craves for that little bit more. A little more indulgence. Pose, pose, pose. These guys are visiting video in the video. See? 
This is the section where now you can just pick the plates, take I think. Oh, see, you need to wait. Tapsam, sir, listen to me. You'll go. Do, you'll do good in life. So make up. Take a branding, branding, yellow. Lelia, man, already. Tomorrow, we'll take matching. Okay, I got done shooting with her. I couldn't take like any BTS or stuff, and the video did not turn out exactly as I wanted it to be because um, obviously there was like a lot of rush, etc. A lot of people, like thirteen of us, we were like doing videos with her, and I thought I did not know how much time to take, so I just like take two quick shots, and um, I have to edit and see. I don't think it's like after the mark, but it is what it is. Uh, I've, I've, I've been actually like I'm done. My flight is in like ten thirty minutes. For us, but um, I've been waiting for like the Kerala to get done as well, so that we can even have dinner and then I leave. And their tour is not coming only, but yeah, I think like low key like my outfit was so apt for the event. I thought like I was underdressed, right? But I'm literally like I got the memo perfectly. It's like so cool. Like I'm so glad I wore this. <laughs> Like oh my god, the red light! There's so much traffic. I mean, it's classic Mumbai traffic. Like literally, it's taking like one hour for me to go. Now, what I came in the morning was like 25 minutes. But yeah, um, I don't know, man. Like my day was such like all over the place. I I want to be grateful for. Um, you know having this opportunity like to you know this just shows that i worked hard for it i've come this far and stuff like that but then there's so many like basically like i i, I was so excited to make this video with her right like, like i'm making a video with dipika but when it was my first ever biggest celeb collab, collab and um, I I do not take take any camera man or anything because I also do not know if I can and then I thought that uh, and I asked they said they're like team and all will help and the guy one guy like everyone everybody was actually very nice and very helpful but the person who took my video he took it in like wide angle and the clarity now is so bad and I do not get like exactly what I wanted and I do not have time to reshoot because obviously we just had like certain time and it's getting pretty late and I don't know why after that then I start feeling like so much more. Um, Bad is like I was given such a big opportunity, but I could like I I just couldn't utilize it or like I utilized it, but then somebody else messed up and my video like I don't know it's just like I feel bad I don't know why I feel so bad I'm just I just generally don't feel so bad for that things but this is one thing I I'm just not able to like but I'm so glad like to be here and meet her and stuff I just wish that video went like turns out good because I mean I'm literally here for that purpose and I'm. I would have it would have been so much more cooler like if I could get that video right like because I planned it so well. Also, already in execution, I couldn't exactly do what I wanted to because I was kind of a little overwhelmed when I walked into the room. Like she was very sweet, but there were like so many people there. You're like you know like it's like you need to get everything right and stuff. And so just was like out of everybody, like only twelve or thirteen creators got this chance to do this video shot with her one on one, which is so great. Like I obviously feel very grateful. It's very like exclusive, um, so it, that's why it bothers me more that um, I couldn't like get it right, and I I don't know why I just feel so bad about it. I was just telling my manager also that um, I I just wish like I could do it right, but um, anyway, let's see. It's just like I don't know. This day was such a weird day. Like I, this was such a big day for me, but also like so many other bad things um, like happened. Morning that entire like. thing was like such a mess for me main also is like a lot of back back of the mind there's a lot of work also going on for me i have so many like uh, backlog stuff which i have to do and i have so much like happening since the last one week and i have like so much to do like the next 3 4 days once i go back to hyderabad i'm a little overwhelmed maybe like i i'm just trying to process that why am i feeling so bad so i'm just like you know saying whatever i don't know i feel bad that 
I couldn't get that right shot. Like it was once in a lifetime opportunity kind of thing. And then some guy, like the first trial shot we did, actually he shot it in like a normal lens, okay. And that it turned out f fine. So I thought he's taking like next month also like that. And then in the second month, say he started taking in wide angle, which is so bad. And also the main thing again that my uh, my concept also got changed at moment. So I was not even like properly prepared for it and all. I don't know. Man, it's just like it's a really cute goodie bag from them though it's just this they launched like a new product today which is super cool so i think that this like goodie bag has that in it and this is like my chotusa bag and this is mumbai's traffic i just ordered some food and i'm waiting for it and if that food like i've not had like a proper meal since morning okay so now i ordered like full meal and if that doesn't taste good, I will literally cry. <laughs> Funny that I actually wore like a meta t-shirt only but uh, anyways home um, coming home to your dog your people and to your bed is another feeling altogether I know it's not like I went long but um, I, just, I don't know like I told you it's just been a weird um, day but um, again just reminding myself of a, of like you know to be grateful to be um you, like there are stages of like um, feeling bad right so i was sad but then now i'm like i need to get over it um like you know that kind of stuff like that so anyways what happened happened like i can't know anything about it and um but yeah it was a really great experience i like again i wanted to like talk to her properly and all i which i did and i really liked but again i couldn't document that because basically the filming part was like a lot of people left like everybody left and only few of us were left and we were sent it like individually into like each like the studio part where the filming we were supposed to do and so there like i was just like involved in filming the reel that i did not have in my mind to like ask somebody to do the vlog and there was nobody like i know to ask as well so i don't have like any vlog footage but yeah the video is that such a bummer that it turned out to be like a bad quality video so yeah i have a long couple of days next uh, tomorrow and day after as well but i'm so excited for tomorrow i really don't want to tell for what that was that was actually the stress i had this entire day as well because i had constantly calls going up in the back of my mind i had to get this done um and stuff as well so you probably will see it in the next vlog but tomorrow is a big 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 day for me um, today was a big day too so tomorrow is like also a very big day for me and um, day after also but you'll see it in the next floor and i'm vlog and i'm so so excited and i'm going to wrap, wrap this vlog right here i have some work to do i'm just going to finish that up and i want to sleep i'm very exhausted it's obviously a long day um like a 20 hours day honestly and uh, yeah that's about it for this video um if you like this video then make sure like share and subscribe to my channel this video shout out goes to samyukta sammy thank you samyukta for always loving and supporting absolutely means the world to me if you want to be part of next video shout out then all you have to do is comment below and use the hashtag aks and you can be a part and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video